Well, I felt like I was singing there. We get it, you sing. You're so funny. <laughs> it's like a happy birthday song. There's always that one girl in the back. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Jeez, this video is a mess. <laughs> what happens to us when we turn on the camera? We just like go Turn absolutely into new insane. life forms. Today is a very, very exciting video. I don't know if you guys remember watching the answering personal questions while I bake with my boyfriend, but that was filmed in Florida because for the entirety of our relationship, we have been long distance. So Boo! today we're going to be answering some questions about his moving in and our experience with long distance. So before that, a little word from our sponsor. Hey, girly pop. So sorry for the interruption, but I got a sponsor for today's video and that is Fabletics. Thank you Fabletics for sponsoring this video. You guys know that I have been working with Fabletics for so long because I am obsessed with their clothing. I am here to tell you that you can visit my link fabletics.com slash Fam, or just click the link in my description to get two pairs of leggings for $24, which is literally insane to me considering how good quality these leggings are. Fabletics is a global active lifestyle brand that has absolutely every woman in mind from sizes extra, extra small to 3X. Not only do they have so many sizes, selections you can also customize the length of your leggings which for a short little Asian woman who is 5'1 that is very much needed and appreciated. Fabletics makes premium activewear but it's so cute that I just want to wear it during the entire day or even when I'm not going to the gym. You can get two pairs of leggings for only $24 if you become a VIP and what does VIP mean you ask? Being a VIP means that you get everyday discounts of about 50% off with absolutely no commitment to purchase but you do get the first look at new styles that come out each month and you have the option to shop or skip. You can skip as much as you want and never get charged. You can just buy it when you want it at affordable prices. And if you just go to my link, two pairs of leggings for $24. Legging haul. So I bought this white top that is so freaking nice. And just, you know, look at how cute this sports bra is. I love this sports bra. The back is so cute. I say this every time, but these are my new favorite leggings. They're gray, they're smooth, they're soft, they're just perfect and great. And since I love pink, I got this pair of like rose blush leggings that are so cute and the perfect length for my short little legs. Thank you, Fabletics. Check out that link in the description. And now back on with the video. Did you do the sponsor now? Mm -hmm. You already did it? Yeah, okay. I did it. Okay, cool. Thanks, Fabletics. All right, let's 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 address the elephant in the room. The title says, <laughs> Sorry. The title of this video says, my boyfriend is moving in with me at 18, and that is actually crazy. But let's let's explain the story. Let's do a little story time, shall we? I okay. love a good story time. I hate YouTube videos if they're not like just talking videos. Anyway, I moved into this apartment <laughs> when I was 17, and then my madre moved in with me a few months later because I hated living alone. She had nowhere to live because we sold the house. She had nowhere else to live. Yeah, but that sounds sad. Like sad. It is. <laughs> it is sad. Devastating, actually. <laughs> so then my mom moved in with me, which I loved because I could not live alone. I, it was just a terrible, terrible, terrible experience. And then Ryan and I were dating. It's almost been six months, right? And finally, Ryan got an apartment here. So we're not moving in together, but we're now living in the same apartment complex. And then I just put my age in there because it's just shocking. 18 years old, yeah. yeah. It's always Every time I find out someone's 18, I'm like, what? Really? Yeah, because it's so shocking. Because the... the <laughs> Never mind. Because why? It was supposed to be a joke because like, yeah, because 18, you said 18. I just put my age in there because it's shocking. I was making a joke that the age itself was shocking, not the age at which your boyfriend is moving into the oh, apartment is shocking. I got it. Which is why you didn't evoke the reaction that I had been anticipating. And now we're going to answer some of your questions. <laughs> now we're doing that. How do you, and now we're going to answer some of your questions. <laughs> How do you survive long distance? Hey, this is your phone. <laughs> this is your home screen. I you have to memorize. I mean. Whatever, just don't worry I about mean, it. I it's in my, no one asked me questions, but. No one actually asked questions. I have questions. questions for you. <laughs> How in the world did we survive long distance? Now, now, before we get ahead of ourselves, we were literally the most privileged yeah. long distance couple <clears throat> in a, ever. In America. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say in America, I was like, that Those make UK sense. boys. Got the other privileges. We visited each other once a month for like two weeks at a time and also yeah. we only did it for five months Which is literally insane long distance sucks so bad that I can't believe we only did it for five months I It was like, felt like we did that there for were, a year. There were like two weeks stints and we were like devastated. We were like 
I even kind of gave up for a little bit, not on the relationship, but effort-wise. No, you know this. Effort-wise, it became very hard because at first it's very easy to like remember to text and blah, blah, blah. But then after a while, when you get busy, it's just tiring to put in the effort to make sure you FaceTime at night and you text them. So long distance does have the ability to break people apart, but not us. No way. How much longer do you think you could have possibly survived long distance? I mean, I would have survived us being long distance, but it's definitely, it got progressive aggressively harder it, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So how did we survive? <laughs> like you said, we got to see each other every two weeks or so. And the other two weeks we were just extremely busy with our own jobs. Yeah, we're really busy people. That's how we survived. <laughs> Next question. How has our relationship changed since you've moved closer and we are no longer long distance? Well, it's been about 72 hours. No! How long has it been? It, okay, this is the fifth day. No way! Yeah, it's the fourth full day. I don't even think we can make a concrete statement or like opinion about that because my furniture isn't here. But we and have I haven't floors. even. I haven't even slept in my own apartment yet, so it's like, I feel like in a month or so it'll start setting in, you know? When I have my office decorated, which check out my vlog channel for a super sick, sweet office decorating and home decor videos, I'm so excited! Once that is set in place, and once he doesn't have to crash at my place anymore, moving company comes tomorrow, then it'll feel better because right now I feel very... My brain feels foggy. Yeah, there's so much going on at once. We have been go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeet. Yes. Also, there's been weird things like finding a gym membership that we both like, which we both don't like it, but you know, it's fine. Uh, you know, trying to figure out what time we're gonna wake up at the same time, what parts of our routine are gonna be together, what parts of the routine are gonna be yeah. separate, and those are all very good problems to have because before we never were blessed with those problems because we were not even near each other. Yeah, every single problem I've had so far, apart from my power going out for like two days, which is not a good problem, <laughs> they've all been like meeting new friends. And oh, that's another thing that's really nice is Ryan has. Okay, this is a common misconception. A lot of people think that I've always lived in Texas and then you always lived in Florida and that oh. I'm like forcing you to to move to my state. Oh, wow, that's definitely Yeah, wrong. we both grew up in Texas, so he has like as many friends as I do here. Yeah. So I've been getting to meet a lot of his friends this week. In fact, we have dinner tonight with some people that I get to meet. Good friends. That's very fun and something we didn't do in Florida because we had zero friends in Florida. Well, okay, not zero, but we just didn't really get to see them often. <laughs> do you think y'all are gonna get married? One, two, three. No! Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, no. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, yeah. Anyways. No, yeah, I feel, I feel like we sound psychotic to everyone else in our life because <laughs> after like two months. No, not even two. One. It was like. The first day. <laughs> we were like, so. No. It's kind of, yeah, not actually. But like, I, I feel like we're very, uh, is it cocky to say that we're really mature? Or does it feel, is it just like different because we're so compatible? I think it's a mixture both. Maturity and compatibility. That's why the title is so shocking because I'm 18. I hate this sentence. I'm not your average 18. <laughs> Say it seriously. I can't. It sounds I'm so not your weird. average 18 year old. I'm just not. I mean, you're not. I'm just not. She isn't. <laughs> She's not. I don't think you're hype man this whole time. <laughs> Maybe plans for buying a dog or a house? Do you think we're gonna get a dog before we buy a house? Probably not, because we have like... Thank God. We're very good about not rushing into things that we can't control. Yeah. We were just talking about yesterday how we don't even have our own lives together. We were at the park oh, yeah. with dogs. <laughs> and there was like, you know Gina Marble's dog Kermit? He's like got the skinny legs and he's gross and Italian awesome. Italian gray. <laughs> to that one. Did you say he's gross and Come awesome? Come on, she, he's, he's like self-proclaimed gross. He can't like say it, but like okay. you were the mic, you were the ASMR. Yeah, yeah. I love that dog. I I love the dog, but I feel like we're not capable of handling <laughs> a dog right now. Also, we don't live in the same apartment. It kind of puts in perspective how difficult it would be to like raise a kid or. Oh my god. Like, there's a lot of people that raise kids at this age. I literally can't imagine. Major props to people who do that. Seriously. How serious is your relationship? Really? I would say serious as it gets at six months. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan and I have this similar experience when we talk to other people and they talk about their significant others while they're not around and sometimes it is so strange to us because they have been dating for like a year or so and if we ever bring up like oh do you see long term with them they're like eh, I don't 
know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Like that actually blows our mind just because we've been so dead set. I'm like, yep, this is it. And it hasn't shaken at all since we started. Yeah, and also I don't think I would put this much effort into something if I knew it would just, just turn into like heartbreak and a waste of time and yeah. emotional baggage. Yeah. How does Ryan come up with all of his original dance moves? <sighs> so the first thing you're gonna do is have absolutely no music playing and then just kind of like do what <sighs> Let your body go. Ooh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Psych>. like. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's gonna be so weird. This is why I can't get an editor because I do the yeah. weirdest stuff. If you two were to have kids, what are some of the name choices off the top of oh, your wow. head? I almost puked. <laughs> I was holding it a burp because I was gonna interrupt you with a burp, but then you took too long, so then it went down my throat, and then I almost puked. So I went. And, I, and you'll see in the video, but... <laughs> <laughs> Was that from your dance room that you did? Yeah. Air got stuck in my body. Like, scoot it over. <laughs> what? I just burp. I just burp. What happens if y'all break up since he lives with you? The only thing about that is that I don't live with her. It's so funny when people comment, If they break up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Because y'all don't have to worry about that. The future with each other. So here's the timeline. So in about two years, he's gonna propose. And then I'm gonna start planning the wedding. And then we're gonna have a wedding. Then we're gonna go on a honeymoon. And then we're gonna buy a big, big house. And we're gonna live happily ever after. And then we're gonna go get some doggies. And then we're gonna be doing that. Yep. I probably shouldn't have said the big, big house though. Yeah, that's fine. Big, big house. I think a lot of people aspire to do that. Pluck Ryan's eyebrows. Yes. Oh, is this happening? Ooh, you've got nice unibrow. Ow! Oh, that was deeper than I thought. Are you being dramatic for the camera? No, that actually hurt. Ah, Haley, do I have that mini? Uh, why am I so sensitive to this right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 ah! You can't just like do a little bit of this one and not the others. Complete. What did you say? <laughs> Complete. What do you think I said? Complete. <laughs> Thumb please up. Thumb please. Thumb up please. I'm gonna tell you about my dream life. These are all my materialistic goals. For my like materialistic goals, I would love to have a Jeep with tan interiors and then get a house on the lake where I can put the boat on there and I have the kayaks on top of my Jeep and we could go camping and, and the house on the lake and doggies and lots of family and friends laughing and staying over at our place and making businesses and making things. Is this ah, your postmates? If you guys have been keeping up on my vlog channel, you would probably be seeing our moving in vlogs and stuff. And a lot of you guys have been concerned about Ryan Yero, and that's a great question. He also moved back to Texas. He's just staying at home for a little bit. Which is like how far away? Two hours? Yeah, it's like two hours away. Not because he has to, but because he misses his family. I think he wants a little bit of time just like hanging out with them, which is understandable. Yeah. He's moving to where we are in Texas. Hopefully very soon. Yeah, a month or two. He's also gonna visit soon. He's still in the squad, guys. Guys. Compare and contrast each other. I'm always too cold. Ryan's always too hot. Ryan needs like seven hours of sleep. I need like 11 and everything else is the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm socially a little bit more shy and Ryan takes the reins when it comes to talking to people and interacting. Thank God. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if you were shy. Oh. Yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Like today we went to this new gym to get a membership <laughs> and the guy was giving us a tour and Ryan was doing absolutely all the talking and then occasionally the guy would be like, so like, do, do you, you have, have any questions? And I was like, no. no she didn't even do that. She was like, <laughs> she so just like straight face, like no expression. <laughs> What's going on in your brain when that is happening? I'm so overwhelmed. I can't. I, it was so loud I in there. I look at you and I'm like, what's wrong? I like literally retreat into my own body. Oh my god. Like, okay, so usually I, I don't really get like that, but it was really crowded, super loud. All these inst instructors who were teaching classes were like coming out being like, hey guys, so like blah, blah blah trying to sell us. And then like some other lady was like, are you guys coming in this one? And I was like, yeah. I <laughs> and then I just kind of went. <laughs> like nothingness. If I act like I'm not here, maybe they'll believe it. <laughs> You're just like following us and not saying a word or making any expression. I was so uh, traumatized. She's getting better though. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Are we ending Thumb it? Up? Thumb up. Okay, that is going to be it for a little Q and A. Sorry that the production was so low, but honestly, I like videos like this better. So let me know your thoughts. I on liked it. Really chill, just talk the videos in the comments down below. If you like it, thumb it up. Give it a big fat thumb. Plug it. <laughs> Plug it right now. Like Plug button. it right up in there. Ew. Uh, wait. I kind of want to ask you a question. Okay. <laughs> There's no questions prepared. <laughs>
No, I got nothing. You can subscribe to join the family. I post videos every fam Friday, but I also post like three to two times a week on my vlog channel, and I post a lot on my Instagram story. I do outfit of the days. I post Twitter content, and he makes videos sometimes too. So I'll see you guys somewhere else on the internet. God bless, girly pops. Bye.